Hello, my name is Mary Roddy from Charing Cross Hospital and the UK OSRX User Group. And this is a video tutorial made particularly for the delegates who are planning to come to the next Imperial OSRX Masterclass at the Royal College of Radiologists. Now, if you already have your own MacBook with OSRX loaded and plan to bring it along to the course, it would be extremely helpful if you can do two things before you arrive on the day. The first is to load up our own set of OSARIX preferences so that your OSARIX will work in a similar way to everybody else on the course, uh, including the teachers. And secondly, if you've already been collecting some cases on OSARIX and have them stored in the default database, we would like you to create a new database to store your cases before you come along to the course, if possible. Let's deal with the OSARIX preferences first. Uh, you'll see on my desktop I have created a folder. This is an empty folder. Um, and it is called My Current OSRX PLIST file. A PLIST file is the name for the uh, OSRX preferences. Now this is a folder in which you will store your current preferences so that if you don't like ours, you can change it back afterwards. Secondly, you'll see there is a second folder called Imperial PLIST file March 2015. And that is where the OSARIX preference PLIST file is stored. Now this will be emailed to you before the course. So I'm now going to open OSARIX and you'll see that I am using at the moment OSARIX version 6.0.2 64-bit. Now to find out where the um, OSRX preferences live, you need to go into preferences and then click on the button that says general and there you'll see the preference settings. So the first thing we want to do is to save your existing preferences and the way you do that is to save preferences, look at the folder that has uh, the name my current OSRX PLIST file, open that up and you will save your OSRX preferences in that location. So they're now saved and if you want to look at that folder which was previously empty you'll need now see something called OSRX preferences PLIST. Now the reason we've made a folder for it is that all the PLIST files look the same and you can't label them differently, so it's best to put them into a folder so that you know which ones they are. So that's your current preference settings. So the next thing you need to do is to go back into OSIRIX and we're going to open up the preferences again. And this time we're going to go to the setting that says load preferences. And what we need to do now is go to the desktop and go to the new uh, PLIST file that we've sent you that you will have put into uh, a folder called Imperial PLIST file. And all we do is highlight the new set of preferences and then press open. And then we'll be asked, do we definitely want to load those preferences? And you say, OK. Now what you'll notice is that the preferences won't become clear straight away. You have to quit SRX and then open it up again before you see the effect of the preferences. So if those preferences are all working OK, what you will notice is that if you look at, for example, the anonymization uh, heading, if you click on that, you will see that you have a lot of different uh, anonymization settings and that will show you that you've loaded the new PLIST file successfully. So now that you've completed the first task successfully, the second thing I would like you to do 
is to create a database for your existing cases if you are not already doing this. So if you look at my desktop here, you will see that I only have one database showing, which is the default database, which is labelled Documents Database. And you'll see that I have several cases uh, in that database. Now those cases are uh, stored on the hard drive of the computer that you're on and we would never advise you to store your cases in such a place firstly because as the number of cases increases your computer will start to run quite slowly uh, and secondly if your computer would sto was stolen you would lose all your cases but more importantly than that, uh, we would prefer you to start the course with an empty default database. So let me show you how to create a new database. The first thing we need to do is to close the Cyrix and to create a new database. And that is simply a folder. So the first thing we do is we press File, New Folder. And I'm creating this new database folder on the desktop, but in your case it could be and would be preferably be on an external hard drive. So let's label the um, untitled folder My Cases. You could put your name or whatever you wanted on that. Now this is simply an empty uh, computer folder. If we open up Osirix again, we're now going to ask Osirix to create a new database out of that folder. So we go to File, New Database Folder, and we go to the Desktop, and we're going to pick that folder that we just created and press Create. Now what you can see now is that you have a new database folder as well as the original one and it has no cases in it. So what I would like you to do now is to take all the cases that are in your default database and just copy them across into your new database folder. And depending on how many cases you have that will take either a long time or a short time. Now once your cases are safely in the default database, um, and I'll just show you that now, yes they've all come across, you can now uh, delete them from your default database because you have made new copies of the cases in your new database. So I'd like you now to highlight all your cases, right click and delete selected lines. You'll be asked, do you definitely want to do this? And you're going to press OK. And so now you have an empty default database and your own cases are safe in a separate database for you to uh, store anywhere you like. As I mentioned before, it's probably not a good idea to keep your databases of cases on your computer itself. And so we would generally recommend that you copy these database folders onto an external hard drive, such as the one uh, that I have plugged into the computer at the moment called MER Museum. This is where I store all my different databases of cases, so you can see different examples of different sets of films. Um, just out of interest, the type of device that we tend to use in the UK SRX user group is something called a Disk Assure, which is made by a company called iStorage. Um, we have no commercial uh, connection with this company, but they produce um, a product that is one terabyte in size USB 3 connection and a 256 bit, which costs about £219, but will house an enormous collection of cases and is probably worth uh, the investment. Because it's so highly encrypted, you can store uh, cases that are not fully anonymised as well as your anonymised teaching cases on it. I hope that was clear. 
please don't hesitate to email me if you have any queries. In the meantime, I really look forward to seeing you at the next Imperial Osarics Masterclass at the Royal College of Radiologists. Thanks for your attention.